There are a ton of reasons why solar panels are a great choice for your home. They're good for the environment, they can save you money on your electric bill, and they can help raise the property value of your home. I could go on and on, but believe it or not, there's actually a solid list of reasons why you should maybe not get solar panels. You might be thinking, why is a company dedicated to spreading knowledge about the benefits of solar telling me not to purchase panels? Well, we here at Solar Reviews are also dedicated to telling you the truth. And the truth is that not everyone should get solar panels installed, at least not right away. Here are a few situations where solar might not be right for you. Number one, your roof isn't suitable for solar panels. Your roof could be unsuitable for a number of reasons. It's too shady, it's too small, it's a hip roof with lots of peaks and valleys and vents, or maybe it's just old and need of replacement soon. You can put panels on a roof with at least 10 years of usable life left, but just be aware it might cost a couple thousand dollars to have them removed and reinstalled if you get a new roof. Your local solar installer or roofing company will be able to tell you right off the bat if your roof can sustain solar panels. Situation number two, there's nowhere else to put your solar panels. Now, if your roof isn't suitable for solar, there are alternative routes you can take, such as ground-mounted systems, solar carports, solar gazebos. But if you don't have the space available for these either, you're not going to be able to get solar. Situation number three, you are planning to move or sell your home soon. Now, solar panels are meant to last at least 25 years or more, so they're a long-term investment. Don't get into it thinking you'll be able to recoup your investment in just a couple years. If you're paying cash for solar now, just know that it might take between five and 15 years to get full solar payback based on your state's electricity cost and solar incentives. And no potential home buyer wants to take on a big solar payment. So if you get solar with a loan, prepare to pay off the residual value of the loan when you sell the house. And if you sign up for a solar lease or a PPA, just know that it can make it very difficult to sell your home. Unless again, you agree to pay off the remaining balance. Now, if you're unsure about whether you'll move soon, we recommend waiting until you are in a home you plan to live in for at least five years before going solar. Situation number four, your electricity costs are already low. Now, if you pay less than 50 or 75 bucks a month, solar isn't worth it. Your savings won't be as substantial, so it might not make sense to make the upfront investment. And here are some reasons you might not have a high electric bill. You live in a small house, you live alone, you have energy efficient appliances, or electricity rates in your area are already low. Now, many utility companies put a cap on the size of the solar system that you can get based on your historical usage. So if you have low usage, you could consider electrifying your home or adding an electric car first, and then waiting a bit to add solar panels until the increased electricity usage shows on your bill for a while. Situation five, you're not eligible for incentives and rebates. Incentives and upfront rebates can help bring the cost of solar down tremendously and can save you thousands of dollars on your installation. But you might not qualify for the federal solar tax credit, which requires that you have income and have a tax liability each year. Talk to a professional to figure this out. And your state might not offer net metering, meaning you won't get full credit for the energy you send back to the grid. And where you might live might not offer any other upfront rebates or long-term incentives, or you might not meet the requirements for the ones in your area. And if these scenarios apply to you, the cost of solar will be much higher, meaning a longer payoff period too. Situation number six, your solar quote appears too good to be true. Now this reason is more of a red flag to look out for when comparing solar quotes. If your quote seems too good to be true, it probably is. Have you ever seen ads that promise free solar panels? Avoid them. Avoid solar panel salespeople that come to your door in a reflective vest talking about special programs that end soon. Solar isn't free, and any special programs should be easy to find on your utility company or state government website. So be very wary of this type of advertising unless you do your research first. And finally, situation number seven. The economics just aren't right for you. Trust us, we hate to be the bearer of bad news, but some homes are really just not meant to have solar panels. Solar panels are nearly always great for the environment, but if the economics aren't working for you, solar can be a bad investment. A combination of low energy prices, bad or non-existent net metering policies, or other anti-solar laws in your state might make installing solar not a great idea. If you don't know whether you're in one of the situations we listed, you owe it to yourself to check solar out. Go to solarreviews.com to estimate your costs and savings and find great solar installers near you. You know, millions of people in the United States have already gotten solar panels for their homes, and studies show that more than 90% of them are satisfied with that decision. You can join them, as long as none of the above situations apply to you. Until next time, have a sunny day. Don't forget to like and subscribe.